In this video, we will discuss the non threaded fasteners and springs. Please watch the videos in the description. You can also download the condensed rods from the link below. When we are talking about the non threaded fasteners, we can consider four important machine elements. These are pins, rivets, keys, and retaining rings. Washers are the machine elements used with bolts and nuts, and washers are used to distribute the pressure as a result of the tightening force. The deformation of a washer during the tightening increases the frictional force. We have many types of washers, usually plain type of washers are used. For vibrational applications, we use spring and locking washers in order to prevent the loosening of the fastening elements like bolts and nuts. As machine elements, pins are the machine elements which is used for various purposes. For locking purposes, we use cutter and groove pins. In the next three slides, you will see standard pins. The pins, the cutter pins, and clavis pins. In the application shown on the screen, the clavis pin is used with the cutter pins in order to maintain a lock pin location. Keys are the machine elements, which is used for rotational force transmission between the two elements, which are called shaft and the hub part. The K is a small machine element which secures the power transmission. In case of excess power and peak or a huge power transmission flow to the shaft or hub, we will desire a breakage mostly on the key machine element rather than the shaft or hub. In a K usage, we have two places that the K is inserted. The place that the K is inserted on the shaft is the key seat. The place that the K is inserted on the hub part is the key wave. There are many types of keys used as machine elements. The plain type, gib hat key type, rounded, and the Woodruff key. Our next machine elements are rivets. In the old times of the Industrial Revolution, since the welding is not developed well enough, the rivets are used in many fields of machinery. They were used in metal construction, connections, ships, boilers, and etc. Although the rivets are not frequently used in anymore in the machinery, we will still use them in the aerospace industry as a fastening machine elements, especially on planes. In this slide, you will see some rivet symbols, which was used in the engineering drawings. Our next machine element is the retaining rings. The retaining rings helps us to fix the rotating element in some limits. We actually have two types of retaining rings. The outer rings are used in shaft parts. The inner rings, which are used in hub parts. Our next machine element is the springs. The springs are mostly used as mechanical energy storage in the applications. They are mostly produced from spring steels. Most frequently used springs are the helical springs. They are mostly winded on a shaft and the wire diameter, the pitch distance between the windings determine the main characteristics of the spring constant. LO is the free length which is the unloaded length of the spring, 
and LVL is the blocked length of the spring. The starting and the ending of the springs are changed according to their usage. For the hook ended, springs are mostly used for tensioning purposes. We come across the springs as the compression springs, mostly as a machine element, in order to reduce the vibration. The springs are the energy storage in a mechanical system. If the end of the helical compression springs are grounded, in other words, they are flattened, they are mostly used for to store energy in the mechanical systems and isolate the vibration from the foundation. The ending part of the springs are not evaluated in force calculations. They are only used for installation purposes. <laughs>